Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody. On today's episode, YouTube is cutting the funding to some channels, Skyfall makes a big explosion in the movie world, and are certain states looking to secede from the union? Before we start, I want to remind you that many of the shirts that I wear here on this channel, like this one, are available for purchase. Just head over to thecurtisparitystore.ca. We start today's show off with some news about right here on YouTube. YouTube has decided to pull the plug on 60% of its funded channels this year. If you're not sure what a funded channel means, well, I'll explain it since that's what I'm here to do. Last year, YouTube launched a program to fund 160 channels right here to create original content to keep people coming back to the site and keep people watching. Think of it like a TV network funding a show. It's the same principle. YouTube will give the creators of a channel a certain amount of money to produce the content and then YouTube slash Google because they're the same thing, would keep all of the revenue generated by that channel. This new model of YouTubing started a lot of great channels, but some of them didn't pan out. This is why YouTube has decided to stop funding 60% of them. Again, think of it like a TV show being renewed for another season. For the shows not being renewed, it could be hard for them to continue without Google's money coming in, so we'll just have to see how this affects all of our favorite shows right here on YouTube. Just a little note for the people wondering, this channel right here was not one of the 160 chosen to be part of this project and will not be affected. So from internet video funding to the big screen money. With Skyfall opening this weekend, it set a whole new record for the film franchise, bringing in a truly massive $87.8 million in the first three days, which makes it the best opening weekend for any of the 23 films in the Bond franchise. It shattered the previous opening weekend record of Quantum of Solace in 2008, which opened at $67.5 million. But another thing that got shattered by this movie was this, the original DB5 from the first films. Okay, actually, it wasn't the original DB5, but but it looks just like it. And if you see the movie, you would have sworn that they destroyed it. But thanks to some amazing technology, they didn't destroy the original car. Instead of using fancy computer graphics, because those are just not cool anymore, the filmmakers behind Skyfall wanted to actually blow up a DB5, but they were confronted with a problem. They wanted to blow the car up in real life, but they didn't want to destroy a precious DB5. So what did they do? Well, turning to the amazing new world of 3D printing, they actually printed out a brand new DB5. Yep, that's right, they printed a car. Now, before you all go running out to buy a 3D printer, the car was only a one third scale model and has no working parts apart from the door, hood, and trunk, but it was painted up and looks just like the original DB5. So if you want to see this cool one third scale model of the car being destroyed, destroyed, why not go and check out Skyfall because it's in theaters now. Or if you live in the US, you could just join up with your other Republican friends and plan to secede from the United States. Oh wait, there's a group already doing that. Yep, it appears that some are not too happy with Mitt Romney's loss of the election this year. So much so that residents from more than a dozen states have filed to the Obama administration's We the People program. The Texas GOP official Peter Morrison argued for an admissible divorce from the US last week by stating, why should Vermont and Texas live under the same government? Let each go her own way. Personally, I don't see it happening. I think some people are just overreacting to the election. Give them a month or two and they'll move past it. Heck, Christmas is coming up soon. Why not start worrying about all the presents you're gonna have to buy? So with all this talk about Christmas presents, how about getting a new Blackberry phone? I'm kidding, don't buy a Blackberry. At least not until January 30th. The reason you should only buy a Blackberry after that date is because, well, that's when they're launching the next line of devices, the Blackberry 10 devices. This is possibly Research in Motion's last ditch attempt to keep the company afloat, but I fear it's too little, too late. I project that RIM doesn't last to 2014. The age of BlackBerry is over. Even with their fancy new operating system, it's gonna be hard for them to pry people away from the world of Apple and Google. Heck, I'd buy one of those cool colored Windows phones before I bought a BlackBerry. Sorry, RIM, I love that you're Canadian, but your time has come and gone. You refused to accept the change in the smartphone world when the iPhone arrived, and by this time next year, I predict you'll either go bankrupt or be bought by another company. So let's jump back to the topic of 3D printing here. Imagine you had access to a 3D printer large enough to print a full-sized, fully functional car. What car would you print off? Tell me in the comment section below, or of course, you can let me know on my Facebook page, Twitter, or Google+. Links to all that and the other articles that I talked about in today's episode in the description below. And when you're done commenting, why not click the subscribe annotation in that corner? Then all of the newest episodes of now will get sent straight to you. Then you can click the like button because you like this video, you like the content in it, or you like me. One of the three. Don't forget that tomorrow is the launch of The Sims 3 Seasons. I'll have full coverage on Wednesday's episode of now, but be sure to stay tuned to my website and other social networks for more information as I get the game tomorrow. And don't forget, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.